Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I don't know what's going on with my body right now, but I appear to be giving off some green residue. It could be the lighting, honestly, but that doesn't make sense because... Shouldn't this be, like, yellow? Like, why am I green? <laughs> I look like I got, I got oozed on by those spitting statues in Dark Souls 2. But anyway, during my off time, I did quite the amount of farming, and now... Instead of level 70 something, I am now 93. And I got most of, most of my stats to 30. I learned that um resistance isn't all too necessary to level up. I mean I think it uh how do I Here we go. Let's see. Parameter bo boosting defense and resistance poisoning. So, I mean it's kinda it's kinda needed, but at the same time, not totally. But anyway, uh, did a lot of farming. I farm a good place to farm, from my experience, is the Tomb of the Giant because each skeleton that you kill, like the giant ones, they give you about a thousand two hundred souls. But if you slap on the ring, the silver, the silver cupness ring, ring, whatever, the ring that gives you more souls, you get about thirty percent more rings. So that's like one twenty. That's like three hundred souls extra. So yeah, I did a lot of farming over there. I also farmed off of Ann Orlando and did some running around. I also did a little bit of a, what's it called? Side quest on people. I did some of um, Sigward the Onion Bro. And I also killed a, I also killed this demon in the, uh, the burning place. I don't remember its name, honestly. I also got a Tatanite catch pole, which does pretty decent amount of damage, honestly. I get like 500 AR with this, but the thing is, it's split damage, so, like, it's less than, a little bit less than half is physical, while the rest is magic. But, I mean, it's a good weapon, but it doesn't do all that great against people who, who have, like, high resistance to magic. Like, you'll mostly just be getting your physical-based damage, which is around 200 and something. But, I also did a lot of searching, because I looked at the, I looked at the curved greatswords in the game, and... Curved greatswords are pretty fun to use in this game, honestly. They're like one of my main two go like one of my main two go-to weapons for this because like I use Grave Lord Nito's Grave Lord Nito's sword, and his sword is a curved greatsword. But the sword I have is called the Sever. Nope. Well, I didn't mean to do that. But yes, this is the Sever at plus ten. It's right. It's right under the Grave Lord sword. I would have farmed for the Murakumbo, but um, to do that, I could either kill Shiva of the East. Which is a NPC that you meet after joining the Cat Covenant in the forest. Hold on, my ear itches. Uh, my ear. Um, but I don't really want to kill that guy because it just... I don't want to do bad in this game. I don't know, that's just me. I'm like the good guy. But, uh... This is a pretty solid weapon, honestly. It, It's more of a dex, dex weapon. But, I mean... With, with the weapons I use, I could really just go for a quality dex build. So like, you know, 40 or 30, I could leave the strength as it is right now and just start putting the rest into dex. So like, you know, 30 strength and maybe 50 dex with however much I can boot, I can um, pour into endurance and vitality. Because honestly, I I feel pretty fine with this. But um, with the Claymore, this is more of a quality weapon because I get a C scaling in both strength and dex. And the Claymore... I never realized how good it was until like in school because like whenever I at, at my um, college area um, there's this area where you can bring in your own games and play and whatnot because they have like a 360 a PS4 a PS3 and another 360 and people will bring in their GameCubes and whatnot or at least I think someone brought in their GameCube I don't know it might be the school's GameCube but anyway um, I run in Dark Souls one time and I was just playing it how I normally play you know farming and Eventually making my way to the to the Grave Lord sword, but people were like, "Why aren't you getting the Claymore?" And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Because they were looking at my, they were looking at how I optimized my build, and they're just like, "Oh, dude, a Claymore would be great for you." I'm like, "What do you mean?" And he's like, um, "Claymores are really good for quality builds." And I'm like, "Okay." And I mean, I had high doubts for them because like everyone was just telling me to go for the Claymore. I'm like, "Just let me play." <laughs> like I was just being that kind of a stubborn bitch, but. Once I got it and leveled it up and just did some uh, did some pillaging and whatnot, and I even went back to my old to my old save file, which was on my 360, 
And I already had the Claymore on it, but I never leveled it up. So, like, I leveled it up all the way to oh, max level, which is, like, 15 in this game. I still need to find another Ember that allows me to... Oh, jeez. I need to find an Ember that allows me to um, ascend my weapons past 10. Because right now, 10 is my max level for these weapons at the moment. I can, I can level them up to 15, but I need to find... Some other ember. But that that will come to I think the ember I need to find is in this area. I I am not certain, honestly. It's just a hunch. Cause I am going off of memory. Oh fuck. Oh fuck you, you bitch. Oh my god, I forgot how annoying these damn magic users are. Keep in mind this I'm going back into the Grand Archives because I defeated Lord Nito. Grave Lord Nito, and I did not rest at the bonfire over there, so I will be right back. So I forgot to mention this, but this is a new build. This is like my new getup, my fashion souls for right now. I'm wearing the thief's mask, steel armor, black iron gauntlets, and black iron leggings, and I this is my own version of the Black Knight for Dark Souls One, because um, in Dark Souls Three, I made my own. Black Knight cosplay because I was cosplaying as my character from my story, The Purifier. And since I couldn't really find the exact armor pieces pieces in this game because this is one and this is not three, <laughs> I, I liked it a little. I just checked around with what armors would look good and whatnot. And I honestly like the Black Iron set. Or not the Black Iron, but the Steel. It looks pretty neat and... The one thing that kind of annoys me is like um in Dark Souls 3, the armor sets are not... The, the shorter pads are never the exact same. Like, they always look different, and it always bothered me. That's why I chose Lorien's armor, because, like, it was the closest to looking the, closest to looking the same. And with the steel, steel set, I mean, it looks good on me, honestly. I like it. But this is currently my Black Knight build, my own version. I would have, like, a knight helmet on, like, some type of metal helmet, but I feel like the Thief's Mask would just go better, just because, of, just because I like it. Ow. Oh, fuck you. Hit it. And if I ever decide to change this mask for the mask of the child, I am now my doppelganger um, cosplay. Which, if you guys ever... I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are like dedicated soul fans and whatnot, but you've all heard of the the legend or whatever um what is, what's his name the big daddy the guy who wore like giant's armor with the mask of the father and whatnot um the guy with the chaos Zweihander, i believe or Kip claymore one of the two but um i guess this is like my tribute to the guy who made that build because this is like the doppelganger version of him it's not exactly it because i am wearing one of the mask of the people you, the one of the masks that you get from Pinwheel, which was a boss, that I fought. Oh, ah, fuck you! Oh look, he's buffing his people. Ugh. I hate. Oh my fucking god! And I didn't rest at the damn bonfire again. God damn it! Uh, so anyway, this is just like my tribute to the guy who made the Big Daddy because the Big Daddy is a pretty famous person in Dark Souls. It's just a cosplay, honestly, but like, they're just known for like kicking ass and whatnot. I think their build is like a glass cannon build. I honestly can't remember. It's been a long time since I've checked it out. But from what I can remember, um, it was like some sort of glass cannon build that could decimate a lot of people. Plus the guy was a pretty, pretty good player from what I can remember. Though this is just from what I can remember, so don't take everything I say to heart. But yeah, this is just like my doppelganger version because it's like a ripoff of the Big Daddy. I guess you can call it uh, Tiny Sun. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm only I only put on this mask if I want extra re stamina regeneration, and if I really want to, I can just put on the the Grass Kite Shield. I believe that's what it's called. Oh, Grass Crest Shield along with the chlorine ring to boost my stamina recovery to exponential proportions. Like it goes up pretty fast whenever you have three items that benefit your um, stamina recovery. 
Because this is decent, to say the least, but, like, let me just show you. Alright, so I'm going to run for a second, and then you'll see how fast everything recovers. That's pretty fast. That's, like, less than two seconds. Which is really good for, like... I'm guessing PvE, because, like, stamina recovery, or your stamina is vital in that game. Like, it's, it's, like, one of the most important things to keep an eye on, because if you're low on stamina, and if you're trying to guard attacks, it's probably not the best idea to do that, because, depending on the shield you have, if you're running low on stamina and you're trying to block an attack, you're gonna leave yourself wide open for a guard break, which leads into a repulsed. But not in this game, I believe, because I've, I've guard broken a few enemies, but I haven't managed to get a repulsed in them. Like, I don't know if I, I don't know if it's the position I'm in and whatnot. Maybe it does affect position. We'll have to see. <gasps> oh, God. Ah, fuck these guys. Alright, we're back here again. Jesus. And sorry if you hear that in the background, my... Grandma and little sister having a conversation about something. <sighs> I gotta back off. Oh my god! God, that guy was just out of my reach. Okay, we're fucking back once again. Jesus, I rested at the bonfire this time. We're good. Let's take care of this damn golem. Gone back to the Grave Lord sword because I can. I need the extra damage right now. I am tired of the shit. Ugh. I don't remember what I was saying because I'm a little fucking annoyed right now because this little bitch thinks he has the damn nerve. To try and kill me with his bullshit tactics of shooting magic and teleporting and buffing his damn friends 24-7. Just not gonna work when you're messing with the likes of me. I also, I think I put on a different ring that increases my magic defense, did I? I can't check right now because I'm getting attacked. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, I put on the stone speckled ring which I got from the onion bro back in the fire town. But, um, I really can't remember what I was going to say, honestly. And considering I, like, had to, like, go quiet for a bit, I don't know how long I should. I should probably just go five minutes extra my time limit just to be safe. But, um, for those of you who are wondering, I've been doing all right lately. I'm glad my finals are over. I finished my last one on Wednesday. And really, I honestly probably didn't have to go to that one. Because I had... I've, I've mentioned this before in other videos, but, um... In, like, another video of Dark Souls, like this game. But, uh... I have, I have over 100 in that. Oh my god. I have over... I had over 100 in that class, and... Literally, um... The test was just, like, you know multiple choice and then like two small essay questions which weren't really all too difficult it was just questions on videos we watched and movies and whatnot and the teacher was like originally i would have you do four but since this is like my last you're my last final just do two i, I kind of want to get out of here i'm like okay <laughs> and i, mean, I kind of half-assed the test because I, I was tired and i already had a really good a really good grade in that class so i was like it doesn't really matter but i meant i even with how bad I did, I mean, I got a 70, I think. I finished with a 97 in that class, which is pretty good. But I think there's an enemy here. Yeah, there is. There's this guy. Wow. I thought you would be a lot stronger. But that was a... Uh, um, I don't remember. I think he has a name in this game. I don't remember. But he is somewhat important. Like, the only thing that makes him important is that, um, I'll get his armor set 
later on as I explore more more of this area. But anyway, since we're here, I'm gonna switch off this, go back to my sever because I don't want to bullshit this bullshit this playthrough any longer. Huh. It's kinda of weird how it just fades off right there. But anyway, this area is covered in crystals. You could probably just chip them off all, all like chip these off and sell them for a good price. I wonder how the crystals sell in this game. Though you can't sell them because they're not like a vital thing. But anyway, really, you do not have to fight. This is a battle you are meant to die in. You are literally meant to die in this battle because there's no way you can defeat Seif the Scaleless because he is currently invincible because of this crystal he created that gives him immortality, I believe. But, oh. I don't get my souls back. Or I don't get to keep my souls. That's fucking great. But since we're here, and this guy's asleep, we kill this guy because he has the jail key. That will allow us to get out of here. But before we do that, let's see what's over here. Ah, there's, this, there's these fuckers. Oh my god. I thought I was one-handing it. There we go. There we go. Now, without their fucking buffers, they're a lot more easier. Anyway. So now that we're here, in jail to say the least, we're gonna use the tower key and... Oh, cutscene. I wonder what those things are. Like, is there is there like something in like the mythology or something that tells them of who they are? Oh yeah, these guys will just kind of ignore me because, uh, yeah. Since those things are coming up, they kind of leave them alone because I think they're hostile towards them. I'm not sure. I don't even know what they are, honestly. They're like some weird Cthulhu-looking snake things. Which, honestly, they kind of make me think of Bloodborne when, once I look at them. Only because, like, of the whole... Sorry, my chair. Only because of the whole, um... Octopus thing, because... Bloodborne had, like, some thing for... Uh... Oh, here they come. Well, let's see how we do against them, I, honestly. Let's see if I can deal some decent damage. Oh! Oh, shit! I forgot they had lunges! Oh god. That is actually pretty pretty lethal. Ah uh, fuck. Oh, that's not bad, honestly. I do pretty decent damage on them actually. Oh, okay, so they're not, all those attacks are not lunges. Alright, I can actually do this. This ain't so bad. But, um... That, um... Musical device thing will play for as long as it needs to play. I think it stops at some point, or they just kind of become disinterested. I don't know, I feel like some have a limited range on them, while others go farther out than most. Crystal straight sword, nice. Crystal weapons are pretty decent in this game, but the only thing is they're brittle because they've been crystallized. And, uh. Yay. I was gonna say, they're brittle because they've been, they've been, um, horribly crystallized, but, uh. They also can't be repaired, so they, do, they don't last as long as you think they would. Let's see how. Oh, yes, that is. Now that is what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah, I'm using the claymore. Nope. Don't want to be grass. Thank you. Whatever you are. 
I don't think there's ever I don't think there was a name for these for these enemies or no there should be because they are in the game they had to like have some name in their in like the database of this game or whatever the fuck I could probably just look it up on the wiki actually anyway let's see if we can take these guys down I do some pretty decent damage on them actually and I'm liking it huh. yeah I get a lot of souls out of them too. That's pretty good. Now we got these guys. Um, I think these guys drop like Tatanite shards. Or. No, a well, miracle, actually. Okay, what the hell? What are you doing here? It's the wizard guy from before. So we gotta find the key for this guy, and it's somewhere in here. I think it's like not in this area, but like more deeper into the archives. But I'm, we'll find it once we ex do some more exploring. Anyway, we're gonna kill this guy. Stop the music, cause this is getting a little eerie for Itates. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Oh my god! A lot of deaths in this video. A lot of deaths. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a video here because I feel like I've done a lot of fucking... Oh, thank God I spawned here. I never lit the bonfire. <laughs> oh, God. I could have been... I could have actually fucked myself if I never rested here because... There could have been the chance where it would have spawned be back in the bonfire at the entrance of the archives. Which would just permanently fuck me over because I I would have to go back to Seif again and die. But I can't because you can't call back that elevator that went all the way up in the archives. So I'm really glad the game spawned me back here. I actually got lucky there. But anyway... That is going to be all for now, everyone. Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, girl. Where's my wave? There it is. And in the next video, we're going to... I'll start back all the way down there because I want to get the item that was down there. Because there was a chest. And we'll go from there. But until then, I will see you all later.